This is Brad with Heritage Cast. Finally, after two months or more, actually three or four, I finally got my NYX mock toe boots. Um, I took an adventure um, all the way out to Spokane, Washington, which was absolutely incredible. Um, a lot of traveling to get there from the East Coast. Uh, two or three plane flights and uh, not really knowing the area as well as I should have and not enough time um, that I should have spent there. Um, going down to Nick's, I went down there on purpose because I have to use um, insoles for my boots. So these are custom made by a podiatrist for like actual medical needs, that sort of thing. And Pacific Northwest Boot Companies don't want to hear about that. Um, I go down there, I told the owner who I had to contact over uh, Reddit, like, hey, I'm coming in, let your people know, that sort of thing. I get there, nobody knows I'm supposed to be there. And I figure, oh, okay, we just, whatever, it's going to be okay. And uh, I get the worst response that I uh, was ex was not, hopefully not expecting. And it's okay, I'll just, I'll just talk to a manager. i normally not that kind of person. But in this case, I kind of had to. I had $1,200 writing on this. And um, I speak with uh, one of the managers, who I will not name, um, who spoke with me or whatnot. And we had so they had only one boots that were there that could even possibly fit my foot. Um, you know, 13 triple F or something. It's, it's pretty large, but you're a big company. You're going to have things on the side. And... It obviously did not fit, and I get in my first pair, and the vamp is just not big enough. I mean, this is still not as big as it needs to be. Um, there's probably like a two-inch gap or whatnot between my foot and the, uh, the lacing system, but it is what it is. An inch and a half, almost two inches. So it's too big in my opinion, but that's just as, as big as they're willing to do. And um, I had requested, because I had another... A pair of boots on the line. I'm like, hey, you know, this is not going to be big enough, and oh, we'll only do eight inches. Well, I mean, I, I guess and I had to think about it for a second. And the next day, I'm like, oh, I can't do that because I have these issues with tendonitis in my leg, so I need it to go as high as I possibly can. So they got all furious with me because they probably had already made it, and they did, and I didn't know, and uh, they were all furious with me, and I'm. Just, they just kept sending me emails or whatnot. I'm like, well, this is just the worst customer experience I've had before. I've I'm not asking for much other than just make it the correct way how I asked or just tell me no, which you could do. And they just, they just wanted me to, to take what they could make and, and do it instead of, which I know they can do, which is cutting it by hand. So if you know something's going to be big or too small and your die cast doesn't fit that for you to, to click it, well, then you're going to have to cut it by hand. You just draw it by hand. You just make it bigger. Use your dimensions. These guys know what they're doing. So you can cut it real quick and you know what to do. They refused to do that and got really mad at me. Oh, since you're not going to answer the emails, whatever, because we're just braiding you, then you're just, you know, out of luck for the other pair. But I will say, um, these are absolutely incredible. Um, the construction is definitely different than my JK boots. These have a lot more flex to them, either by the midsole um, or by whatever structure for the arch. And as well, this is a, a thinner leather, which is not bad. It's just a thinner leather than the um, JK Boots version. So I'd say this is probably like a six or seven ounce um, leather. And the JK Boots are probably 10, 11, 12, whatever the highest you can get is. Um, which I like. It's it's two different uh, feelings, and it's it's kind of good. And because of the way they made this uh, the construction, there's a lot more bounce to it, which for me is important with my spine. So I, I really uh, just the first uh, couple of steps I made with this and walking down has been fantastic. Um, they included uh, obviously the here's all the different people involved. This is I don't know one two three four five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that's almost 12 people involved. It's kind of cool. It's interesting to see, you know, kind of how the system works in a way. 
Um, I did appreciate, I'm overseas, so they actually included some, uh, some oil, um, you know, cream-based uh, oil. <clears throat> I really appreciated that, because they didn't have to. Me being overseas, that's a pain in the butt. So they actually went the extra mile. Um, fun sticker, which is kind of cool, I like that, I like the design. Uh, some boot care instructions, use a boot brush. Brushing them daily, conditioning every two to three months. That's interesting. Okay. New boots, not need oil conditioner for the first two months, almost. I could disagree, but okay. I, I, I do agree, and I disagree all at the same time. Um, oh, well, that's kind of cool. Give you some facts, some care guidelines, contact info. And they did include kilties. Um, these are no-show kilties, which I actually kind of like. Barely see that with the lighting that I've got here, but um, yeah, they're no-show kilties, which I, I kind of like actually. I'm gonna try it out. I might get the uh, the eyelash ones, whatever those are technically called. Um, lacing up. They did provide laces and false tongues. Um, on explain kilties. See, this is this is important information, which <sighs> Pacific Northwest Boot Companies haven't done a good job at explaining why. And I've even seen people on Reddit having comments about, oh, this is a, they didn't want to buy the boots because they had the, the kilty in it. They didn't really understand what it was. Um, let me grab my JK boots. Oh yeah. Comparing these two together. There's a vast difference. Not worse or better, just different. Um, this is a, this is their 1964 brown leather, and uh, it's fairly standardized. So you can see. I'm gonna throw on the lighting system. You can see down in there. Importantly, this is a 14 triple F. The highest that they go. I think they might be able to go higher with the volume if you do a 15, if that even exists. But my understanding, this is the highest volume you can do. And to fit my insoles, it's pretty important. So this is solving problems in my foot, not for fun. Comfort, it's very specific. Um, yeah, this is a very different construction. I need to learn what the differences are with this type of construction and how it's, it's different. I think maybe... I don't know, maybe they're Solastic for the, the heel stay. I'm not 100% about that. I need to ask about that if, if Nick will actually respond back to me <laughs> after making them mad for whatnot. Um, but comparing the two, I am just super impressed. Um, they have different use cases, right? This is a traditional logger boot, and this is a mock fashion office. You can work in it, sure, but... <laughs> I don't think I'd be taking this on the job. I mean, you can, but I wouldn't be taking it. I would want, they were probably 1964, you know, Red Dog type of leather from NYX if I was going to do something like that. This, this is a fancier version, but you could, right? It's totally, you're able to do that. Supposedly, these are the red versions. These feel, they have more bounce to the, the outsoles. I'm not 100%. I, I need to check with them about that. Um, it is different. Um, I will say there's an acceptable amount of scratches or different things, and I'm pretty sure that's from customs from overseas. Um, but to be honest, I mean, there's nothing I can see that's out of place. There's a few um, stitches or whatnot that are, I mean, uh, threads that they didn't burn down or something like that. But other than that, um, and I greased them up, so <laughs> I don't buy the, oh, you need to, uh, you need to wait sort of thing. No, you should, in my opinion, you should, you should, um, put some boot oil on there. So then you're going to, you're going to break them in, but the, the boot is breaking you in. Not, you're not really breaking the boot in yourself. This is the misnomer with how this works. You are being broken in by the boot. So it should flex around you, meaning that if it's soft enough, you should be able to do it. Um, but, uh, I am very, very much impressed. Um, 
my beef with Nyx specifically has to do with the fact that they need boot makers, the actual guys on the floor doing the sizing. And through this uh, process of me researching and, and going to Spokane and whatnot, this is every single one of the companies. So Frank's, Nick's, Truman, White's, you name it, right? They need actual boot makers doing the fittings. And honestly, there needs, like Ron Ryder has talked about <clears throat> in his interviews with stitchhound.com, um, Ron Ryder basically said it, right? There needs to be a mandatory requirement that you're going to have to go get your prosthesis, um, a tech, um, prosthetics, uh, orthotics tech certification, and you have to be certified to do fittings. Um, this cannot go on along any longer, right? This is a medical, everything you put on your foot is a medical piece of equipment. And it doesn't matter what anybody says, um, there has to be standardization of the lasts. Okay, I shouldn't have a, a 13 uh, quadruple, what is this? 13 5E. <laughs> in my JK, and then a 14 triple F in my Knicks, right? That's ridiculous. So there needs to be standardization. There needs to be a requirement. And this is something that, okay, everybody's going to have to do. And they're all in Spokane, they're all in Washington State, and then in Oregon. So the two, the two um, podiatrists and the prosthetics, uh, orthotics associations just have to get together and say, no, you're making medical equipment. You have to get certified. Easy. Make everybody certified, get them trained. And then you standardize all the lasts, and then sizing's all the same. And to be honest, this is ridiculous. And the fact that many companies were irritated with me for having um, medical orthotics, not for fun, not for bounce or something, no, for a medical need, because I have bones that are uh, wrong in my foot. And I made Nick's pretty mad. Um, and I, I don't know how that's going to go in the future. But they pretty much banned me, and... Uh, in their defense, right? I kept asking different things, kept, you know, uh, asking for things to be changed or whatnot. Um, and, and then when they made something that wasn't high enough to protect my leg, then they got mad at me. So it is what it is. In any case, I really appreciate Nick's. I think uh, what they're doing is incredible. And I hope every single one of the boot companies unionize and every single one of them demand to get trained and, every, and, the, and the employees themselves um, going around the CEOs, basically, and demanding that, well, we're going to modernize and professionalize the industry. Um, and then poke fun at Calaris and uh, um, Allen Edmonds and, uh, and uh, Foot Locker, right? And go around all of them and say, no, we're all going to unionize. We're going to be one union. Uh, we're all going to get trained. We're all going to have certifications. And no, you're not going to abuse customers anymore. And uh, you're not just going to make things up. And there's going to be a medical requirement for how this, this stuff works. There's no reason this can't be done. And uh, the employees just have to go around these companies, to be honest. Because eventually, things are going to get worse enough um, with enough injuries stacked up for all the different people. Um, not getting the right sizing, things just being wrong, things being missed. Um, if you, unless you have a good podiatrist who actually physically examines your foot, you're going to miss a lot. And just because someone, even Ron Ryder himself said, right, just because he does a fitting or whatnot, he's not certified, right? None of these people are certified in what they're doing. So essentially, this just has to happen. And customers, like myself, have to demand it, right? You can go get your certification and do this and do it correctly in an illegal medical way, but everybody's not doing that. Um, but this is uh, the Knicks. 1964 brown mock toe lug boot this thing is incredible and i'm excited to break this sucker in and it's going to go with all my wool trousers and suspenders and the whole uh me cosplaying as a uh, as a railroad worker or some sort of like prospector or something like that and uh find all the nice european honeys put these obviously that's just how that's going to work um this is brad with heritage cast uh, maybe do business with Nick's. Eh, I'd say spend your money with Baker's and then shop with everybody, but lean maybe something else with Baker's. <laughs> they treat people very well. And no matter what I've asked them, they've been kind and nice. Um, and they didn't ghost me, whereas Nick's have officially ghosted me. So. <laughs>
You guys have an awesome holiday season and be blessed.